Here. How are we doing, guys? You feeling good? Awesome. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I started a new job uh, a couple months ago. Been very excited about that. Thank you very much. Uh, from there. Uh, thank you. Uh, it, it's exciting. I started a new job. I used to wait tables. Anyone else done that job? Yeah, that's fun, right? Waiting tables. <laughs> That's, it's a real neat job where you bring people food while you are the hungriest that you've ever been in the entire <laughs> life of yours. I've never understood that, why that's that's how we do it, right? Because I feel like people go to restaurants expecting, you know, food recommendations, and when you're that hungry, you don't care about the quality of the food. You're just thinking about the food, you know? It's like, I had so many people come in and sit down and be like, what looks good to you? And I'd just be like, all of it. <laughs> It's wild. I don't. I don't. You, you get real weird after ten to twelve hours of, of not eating. You know. I don't even think you should be allowed around people at that point. I think that's not a good idea. I would hit a point of every shift where I'd want to go up to my tables and just be like, "Look, I don't care what you get. I will give it to you for free if you eat it with your bare hands and let me watch." <laughs> should not be in front of people at that point. I had uh, I had friends of mine uh, who I worked with who would eat food off of people's plates in the kitchen. Um, yeah, that's a, the that's a thing that happens. I mean, like, I'll tell people who have never worked in restaurants uh, that that happens, and they'll be like, no, there's no way. Like, there's no way the chef would let that happen. And it's like, okay, well, the chef hasn't slept in four days and drives a stolen car, so... <laughs> he's not really thinking about that at this point. Let's see. I, um, I picked up some, some new viewing habits during, uh, during lockdown. I've been watching a lot more hockey lately. Uh, that's been fun because I used to play hockey when I was growing up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. I feel like I'll tell people that as an adult and they're always surprised, which is neat. Uh, <laughs> I understand it, you know, like it's just, I was pretty good, but it is hard to convince people that you played a tough guy sport like hockey when you look like you have the bone density of a candy cane. <laughs> that doesn't really translate for <laughs> people. Um, so that's been fun. Um, I don't know, I've, I've been enjoying watching hockey, uh, getting back into that. I'm just, I'm trying to be careful, like, not to get too into it. because uh, I feel like people who are, like, really, really into sports are not overall what I would call, like, a well-adjusted, happy <laughs> demographic of people. I feel like every super sports fan that I talk to will just be like, yeah, this is my favorite team, and every single player on it is a fucking disappointment! <laughs> The comment sections on sports blogs are the most bitter places on earth. You talk to any Lions fan and you're like, did the Lions cheat on you? Like, where is this coming from? Uh, Emma was talking about uh, pets. We have uh, other pet owners here. That's been cool. We've got, I've got a dog and a cat. We've been dealing with some, some health issues. Um, and that's been kind of hard to, to deal with. Um, I think because like, my brain doesn't fully process that my pets are real life animals. Like I think on some level my brain is convinced that they're just like nifty cartoon characters that like escaped from the TV, you know? So it makes like serious stuff, like health problems hard to deal with. Like I found out last year that my cat has chronic pancreatitis. Yeah, I had no idea how to process that information. The vet was like, your cat has pancreatitis. And I was like, he doesn't have a pancreas. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> He's just a little guy, you know? He's... That's a ridiculous thing to say about him. <laughs> That's insane. Saying that, you might as well say like, yeah, my toaster fought in Desert Storm. Like, it's... it's meaningless. I don't know how to do that. Uh, all right, that's all I'm going to do. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to